hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right man check this out man um i just want to do a continuance on my observation of uh demetrius andre this was the perfect fight for him to display his skill and he showed them to the fullest you know he fought a taller guy he was able to pretty much handle him with with ease i mean he really didn't take no punishment he got he got clipped a couple of times but it looked like he took the punch as well i didn't think he was ever you know on the verge of getting seriously hurt you know comes with the territory you get you you get you know you get popped a couple of times and then it's, it's basically how you handle getting hit and he seemed to have took the punch as well because keep in mind uh willie nelson did rally a couple of times to uh knock some people out he knocked tony harrison out which by the way tony harrison is a very skillful fighter he got skills but that fucking chin of his is man that that that, that chin he 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 might be the the black version of amir khan so as far as willie nelson go man I don't want to see nobody downplay this fight because this was a great win for Demetrius Andre. You know, sometimes you have what you call a tune-up fight, then you have what you call a showcase fight. A showcase fight is against a very decent fighter, not what you would per se is elite or A-level, but what you call a good fighter to see how you are as a boxer and how you will fare against what you would call the higher level fighters, you know, the A minus A plus fighters. And what he did tonight was very impressive. And I've been saying this for a long time, man. I've been on uh, the Demetrius Andre bandwagon. And what I saw tonight, you know, based off what I saw tonight, he has a chance against any 154-pounder. And two years down the line, when he moves up to 160, he has a good chance against any 160 guy. And yes, that includes that guy. Yeah. That, you know who we talking about, him too. But anyway, he has a chance against anybody at 154. Lara, um, either one of the Chalo brothers. Um, look, Canelo didn't want to fight him two years ago. You know, that's why y'all can't take Oscar seriously as a person. He just talks out the side of his neck. You know, he says people want to see the best fighting the best, but then he protects you know his fighters from certain fights there was no reason why Demetrius Andre and Canelo couldn't have been made two years ago except for the fact that Oscar didn't think Demetrius Andre well excuse me he didn't think that Canelo was going to be able to beat Demetrius Andre I'm going to tell you right now I agree with Jeff from Dream Chase of Boxing I think that if Demetrius Andre gets hold of Canelo it would be a one sided beating I think he would beat the dog shit out of Canelo. I think he would beat him down. I think I, I think he would stop Canelo. If not stop him, he would he would just dominate him for 12 rounds. It would be I I don't think Canelo wants any part of Demetrius Andre and I don't think that's one fight that you can almost guarantee that Oscar will never make that fight. So that's why when y'all be hearing these fans and shit talking that shit about oh you know, what fighters should have fought this fighter and what fights they want to see, fuck them. Don't even pay attention to them. And I don't want to hear no shit about Demetrius Andre isn't a big fight and he, he can't sell tickets and all that type of shit because I thought you guys say you want to see the best fight the best. Can't have it both ways. You only want to see the best fight the best when it's uh, somebody that you a fanboy of and you think he can beat the dude. Like I said... There's no guarantee that Demetrius Andre will beat Lara or any one of the Chalo brothers. But I can tell you this much. It'll be a damn good fight. It'll be a, a great fight for the fans. Because one thing about Demetrius Andre, as you can see, he can fight. He can be entertaining. You know, everything you guys want. You guys want to see knockouts. You want to see what you guys call exciting fights well he gave you guys a great you know exciting fight it was pretty much one-sided but you saw an offensive clinic put on so i mean it is what it is but demetrius andre man the dude is the goods man he's the truth he's for real man like i said he has a chance against any 154 fighter straight up i'm out